Okay, guys, good morning, good morning. Hopefully you guys are on your way to work, and I'm trying to give you that morning kick. So, as I said, I wanted to do something that would promote positivity around these YouTube streets, and this is one of my efforts. Um, today I released a story time video to make you laugh, and um, today... Me and my wife are going to do a tag video that we came up with ourselves. I'm going to call it the NARAB Small YouTube Creator Tag. And um, what you do after you answer the, I don't know how many questions this is, but I'm going to put all the questions below in the comment section and I'm going to pin them. And then you create your own video using uh, the small creators or the NARAB small creators tag, whatever it is that I call it. I don't know. But anyway, me and my wife are going to answer these questions. Okay. And hopefully it's going to be as much fun for you as it's going to be for us. Cause I'm kind of interested to hear what she's going to say. Okay. You ready, boo? I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> don't forget this. Um, Okay, so the first question, my dear, is where did you spend your formative years? In Maryland, P and as in or PG County, Maryland. But wait a minute, Montana also. So it was like a dual place. So it was Montana and PG County. Well, you know, my brother basically spent more time over Montana Avenue than I. But your city was, was it? Bracey, uh, Landover. Landover. Landover, Bracey Road, and uh, Cap Capitol Heights. Okay, let me tell you something. Y'all not from that area. That, all, that shit she just said from PG County, that shit is the hood, okay? Mm -hmm. You mad at me that I called your shit I the mean, hood? It's, it's the moderate hood. Subhood, <laughs> the suburbs, in comparison to, right, like, right. Um, like, where I grew up at, yeah. It would still be considered the sub the sub suburbs to right. us, right? Right. So mine was my formative years was spent all over DC, pretty much. The only place I think I didn't, yeah, basically all over the DC, Northwest, Northeast. What what streets? Uh, well, Morton Street. I did six forty. We did certain quarters. We did Capitol Hill, mm -hmm. or I did Capitol Hill. We did uh, Southwest. Most of it was all D.C., everywhere. Mm -hmm. Michigan Park, everywhere. For some reason, I don't know, but we moved a lot. We moved a hell of a lot. And we didn't move a lot. We stayed right. pretty solid. Right. We moved a whole lot. I don't know why, but... I see. Okay. Okay. So, the next question is, are you there now? No, I have totally left state. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, that yeah. would be the same for me too because I follow this are. daggone girl to Atlanta, Georgia. And we're actually in Atlanta. We're not tricking you, telling you that we are in Atlanta. And for real, we're in like, uh, what's a, a surrounding city? Douglasville or, you uh, know. Any Villa Rica or uh, what else, boo? Mm -hmm. Any is Marietta a part of Atlanta? No, it's a real city. It's like capital. No, Capital Heights and District e Heights. E right. Well, that's the well, yeah. It's just two different. It's it's Marietta. Okay. I, it's not considered Atlanta. I don't believe. As you see, I still don't know where, where, what anything too much about us. So the next question was, um, what artist do you remember your mother or your parents playing the most in your house so while you were a child? So for me, <laughs> what stands out for me is always a uh, clean up time. <laughs> and she played a lot of Anita Baker during really? clean up time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is how we're going to know how old, how different you and I are. Mm -hmm. Because clean up time, mm -hmm. like you said, uh, well, it was my clean up time. My mother wasn't around because I told you my brother worked like 100 hours. But it was a lot of Aretha Franklin and James Brown ah. cleaning mm -hmm. up. Or, and I, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the next question is, um, what was your first car? My first car was a gray Mitsubishi Galant that I rode into the wheels. Fell, fell off. off. I remember that car. You were so you proud of that car, baby. So you were so proud. I would have been proud car. to have anything. I would have been proud to have a box with wheels, y'all. <laughs> and it had tinted windows, didn't it? <sighs> Why did you put tinted windows on that goddamn car, girl? Like that shit was on Mercedes Benz. Listen, listen. Do not tint your windows, young people. If young people are listening, do not tint them. The police <laughs> will pull you over. Child and ticket your ass every chance they get. Mm-hmm. And uh, my first car was a um, Cavalier, a blue Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> that was Nia's first car. That was Nia's first car uh-huh. too. Oh wow! A, a red, a red. She had a red Cavalier. That thing was broke down. It was broke down. Yeah. My car wasn't broke down. Hmm. But um, what would be your dream car, baby? My dream car, if I just had money to blow, because I don't like blowing money, would be a Rolls. A Rolls Royce? Royce? Really? Mm-hmm. Um, well, because I am air mm-hmm. and I'm flippity floppity, mm-hmm. we probably could say about 18 different um, dream cars for me because it changes like Oops. hourly for me, right? Mm-hmm. But right now, the dream car that I'm feeling is that Tesla truck. Right. I don't know the. I don't know the. I forget. They have like letters and numbers. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but it would definitely be the Tesla truck, definitely. So, um, what was your favorite movie as a child? Hmm. You know, uh, my favorite movie would have to be a fantasy movie. It would be a labyrinth with the dog. Yeah, that was like that was one of my favorite. Mo- not not the one with the dog. No, not the one with the dog. Labyrinth was the um one with David Bowie. Okay. Yeah, girl. I look, 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 I was a little you know fantasy fantasy type of child. I like that, and the one with the dog actually. I like, um, I cannot think of the name of it right Me now. Me neither. But, um, never y'all... Ending Story, y'all. Yeah, Never Ending Story. That was my other favorite. So it was like a toss. I used to just, between the two of those, go back and forth between VHS, because that's what we had, VHS. Child VHS. Let me tell you my favorite childhood movie, I want to say, is so many movies. But it's funny how I just found it on YouTube recently, and I introduced it to my wife, and she was quite surprised at how good it was. It was Bingo Long and the Traveling All Stars with um, Billy D. Williams, Richard Pryor, and James Earl Jones. Okay. So, um, baby, what is your favorite movie now as an adult? I don't necessarily think I have a favorite movie now. Cause I just think the movies are not are not that well put together, and uh, you know if I had to pick one, but it could still be a movie from the past, baby. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, no, I really don't. You know, I can't say one of those fantasy movies that would still be my favorites. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a horror flick person. So, um, what's your favorite scary movie? Then? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I can't even think of the name of it. Start with a C. The most recent scariest movie that was out. Did we see it? it was, this movie came out like maybe like eight, six, seven years, six years. What is that movie? That it, the mother and the children in the house, and she becomes possessed. And the girl is it like one of them Exorcist movies? Yeah, like one of those type of movies. Girl, yeah. was it the one with the doll baby? No, not the one with the doll baby. That was were good too, but you know. They were very scary, but Yes. I would say my favorite movie as an adult would have to be um and this is so crazy cuz whenever I say it, no. Well, we push, hold on guys. There we go. My favorite uh, movie as an adult, I would have to say of all time would be The Green Mile. And it's because mm. a lot of people, 
you know, be like, oh, it was sad. But the Green Mile, when you take out all the sad part, that movie was hilarious. I'ma I'ma take it back. I'ma take it back. Which one? So my favorite movie still of all time is Stephen King's The Shining. Really? I can still watch that. You really? I can still watch it. So you know, even as a child, you would still get that same giddy feeling mm-hmm. as an adult when it comes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I could watch Green Mile whenever, any day, every day, all day, right? Mm-hmm. But what did I say? My oh, Bingo Long and the Traveling All Stars. Right. Okay, so um, let's see. What was your favorite family outing? Mm. Probably going to get crabs. Anything going to get crabs. That is a DC. That you are a DMV child. Mm. You are definitely, yeah. Going to the wharf. Yes, that was a big Uh, deal. Now it's not the same. They say you got to get a ticket and all that. There's all these restaurants. Pricey. I went down there to eat with my friends. Uh, I think our meal ran us. It was three of us, and it ran like two something. Mm. Well, they definitely must have tore down Phillips because you can eat all day on their damn seafood for what thirty five. Exactly. <laughs> and you be like, oh, is this even fish corns? But yeah, um, I was like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yes, that was a, that was a that's a very good example because any family from the DMV going to the wharf was a really really big deal, mm-hmm. right? So in my family, we were very, very cultured in regards to going to plays and um, going to see like um, the mu- the museums and um, we just did a lot of culture things while living in certain quarters, which is crazy. But maybe that's the reason why uh, my, we did those things so that we wouldn't be locked into that area. Mm-hmm. But we used to go see plays together. Like, we would even go to New York to see the plays, um, um, Broadway to see the plays. And even as we got older, we used to make it a family outing to go see all the Medea movies. Oh, Ma- not Medea movies. All the Medea plays, plays. together. Cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, let me see. Where are we now? What was your favorite candy growing up? <laughs> I think I could guess yours. What? Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks? I did used to love Pop Rocks, though. Because you all think. dangerous motherfucker. I did used to love Pop Rocks, but, um, um, yeah, as a child, I would say, like, um, Now Laters. Oh, my God, Now Laters. Mm-hmm. Yes, God. Mm-hmm. Now. It was this particular red and yellow Now Later, but it was not banana flavor, no. It was like a lemon and like a strawberry or something. Oh, yes. The two intertwined. And I just. Mm. The chewy ones. Did yeah. you like the chewy ones or the hard ones? Boo? I like the hard ones really the best because those were the originals. But I, any, any now later. Any now later. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I didn't like because I didn't like lemon flavor. I didn't. Mm. But no that, banana for me. That sour apple or grape or mm-hmm. strawberry now later. See, I almost forgot about that. What I was going to do was say that lick em stick. With the white oh, candy, and then you dipped dip it, it in. into the powder. Yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good one too. But all of it destroyed your teeth, mm-hmm. right? So then we go to what was your favorite cartoon growing up, Boo Boo? So favorite cartoon is a toss between probably like a Smurfs and um. Transformers. Oh, you know I what I spent a lot of time say? watching those two. You know what I thought you was gonna say? What? Fraggle Rock. Uh, but that's I not a cartoon. Was it a cartoon? It was a cartoon. I watched Fraggle Rock. I definitely watched Fraggle Rock. But um, between it, Fraggle Rock didn't run as long as everything else. So I spent a lot of time in the morning watching the Smurfs. Yeah, and the Smurfs a lot of times, a long time. But yeah, the Smurfs in the morning, and then in the evening, a lot of times watching the Transformers or GI Joe. Oh, I love G.I. Joe. Mm-hmm. I love G.I. Joe, and I love Transformers. Yeah, they had know? so many uh, lessons in G.I. Joe. I they did. That's probably why you liked it. <laughs> what was the thing? What? And I always say it to this day. Is it 
the more you know what is it. And learning is half the, the battle. battle. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say growing up for me, my favorite cartoon was the original Inspector Gadget. Oh, that was a good one. Um, And can I remember? Oh, and when I was really young, I used to love the Croft Superstars. With Land of the Lost. Uh, oh, oh, Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. No, no, no. It was was it the Land of the Lost? Because they had like a variety show. They used to have Sigma and the Sea Sea Monster, HR Puff and stuff. That's way before your age, boo. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, way before I don't your know these age. Cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was like a compilation of um different like shows on it. But mm -hmm. that was my favorite. And then Finally, what I want to ask was, were you public or private school? Public. I was part private and part public. Now, for this tag video, I'm going to call out all of the House of Narob, whether it's the members that still rocking with me or not rocking with me that just stepped away from me, whoever the hell it is. If you used to, if you were somebody that I used to promote and love and love on to, I need you to complete this because Hey, we trying to do what we can do to turn YouTube back into a fun place. Okay. Um, I want to tag both the Aprils, sweet mom, miss cruisers, um, King Brittany Chanel, um, and heck, we could do, well, I don't know. So I didn't tag y'all in it, right? So what I need y'all to do when y'all finish doing it, you need to tag some other people who you think are, have a nice time doing this or a fun time doing it, okay? So remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Oh, wait, guys. Hold and it's on. it's not limited to the house of Narob. It's not limited to the house of Narob. It's just that I would like for the house of Narob to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this, me and my wife, baby, can you do Friday night? Do you, can you yeah. do Friday again? So, y'all, y'all know our Friday night videos or our Friday night live chats be a little risque, okay? And we gonna make it a little, you know, exotic like how we did last Friday, you ready, boo? You ready to yeah, answer yeah, all yeah. this? Tell them what time. What time? I mean, we don't want it to... Maybe 9.30, y'all, so then my wife can get in the bed by 10.30, 11, because you know that'd be your first day to work yeah. on Saturday. Drop a time, y'all, trying to get started. Yeah, so it's going to be 9 or 9.30 or 10. So what time is good for y'all? We're not going to do it too late because the girl got to get up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning to go to work, so... Just let me know, guys. Now, back to what I was trying to say. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. House and Narob, if you ever need me, my loves, I will always be there for you. Have a good one. Deuce. So now all I got to do 